Hey friends, welcome or welcome back if you're returning. Today I'm going to be showing you how I pack this Underseat Pro backpack for a week-long trip with my husband's clothes. Stay tuned. Hey friends, welcome back or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Courtney. I'm here to help you travel as cheaply as possible. I'm going to show you how I pack my husband in a free personal item, this backpack, today. So I had a little bit of confusion with my last video where I did pack my husband's clothes in a different bag. My husband is perfectly able to pack himself. However, he is the one that is mowing the lawn, weed eating, doing the rest of the dishes, turning off the water to the house. He has other duties that he does before we leave on a trip. I obviously enjoy packing, so I'm the one who packs his bag. Now these are my own personal opinions on these bags, however, Underseat Pro did send me this bag for free. I could review it, use it myself, and make a true and honest video just for you guys. So let's get started. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, I'm going to go ahead and link it up in the iCards, and it'll be also in the description box below. Just so you can see all the features of this bag that I'm not going to cover in this video just because this is going to be more of a packing video. If you are wanting to purchase this bag or any of the Underseat Pro items, click on the links down below and use. make sure you use that code BREAKAWAY, B-R-E-A-K-A-W-A-Y, all one word, in the promo box for 10% off your order. So thanks Underseat Pro, thanks for hooking my viewers up with that code. Okay, let's get started. So first we're going to lay out our t-shirt, make sure it is spread out evenly, no folds, no wrinkles, no creases. So we're gonna take one half and fold it over to the middle and then smooth it out and then bring the armhole back over. Then take the other side and then we're gonna fold that over on top of the other half, bring the arm back over, smooth out everything and then we're gonna start rolling from the top. And so you just roll from the top to the bottom, pulling it as you're going to make the tightest little compact burrito t-shirt that you can. So here you go. This is what it should look like when you're done. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but this is how I find saves the most space when you're packing. So we're going to go ahead and do it with the rest of our t-shirts and shorts. I'm always folding it into thirds. I always bring the one side over and then the other side back on top of that one. You can fold them bigger, you can fold them smaller, however you'd like to get them folded so that you do use all the available space in your bag.
Now, when I do fold dressier shirts like this button down shirt, I will not roll it as much as I'm going to be folding it. And I'll show you just what I mean. So I'm going to do this one upside down just so I have the buttons facing down. I have more of an even fold on the back. So I'm not going to put too many creases in this. So then with the collar, we're going to just fold it. And so it's kind of a rolling fold, but I'm keeping it flat and just folding it down as I go. Just so I'm not distorting the shape of the button down. Okay, now it's time to pack. So let's go ahead and open our Underseat Pro backpack. And those straps inside that you're seeing, those are compression straps. Those do come in super handy. And you can see how deep this bag goes. It is extremely large for the shape. So I'm going to go ahead and put some sandals that my husband would wear to the pool down at the bottom there to begin with. Always wrap them in a bag so I don't want the dirty soles rubbing on my clean clothes there. Next, I have this compression bag that I do put underwear and socks in for my husband and I also have one for myself too just to keep everything together and an extra layer of cleanness. So we're going to tuck that right in and so you notice there is a space left right beside that bag. So I have my swim trunks that I have folded to fit exactly in that place. So now that we have the heavier items on the bottom which Believe it or not, that packing cube is kind of heavy. So we're going to go ahead and lay it down. And now we're going to play some Tetris. If you don't believe me, keep watching. So you're just going to take your clothes. Oh, let's pull our compression straps out first. I always do that. Do you guys do that? I always pack over top of them. Then I always have to pull them back out and <laughs> move all my clothes. So I'm literally just grabbing from my pile of clothes that I just packed and stuffing them in this bag. So I'm just trying to shove them down and find any holes that I can pack any clothing item into. So as you can see, I am shoving a little bit. So the sides are slightly, slightly bulging out, but that is okay. There's enough room left in this bag that you're not going to be worried about bulging out of the sizer. So we're just going to finish putting the rest of our clothes in. And if you notice in that top left-hand corner of the bag, there is nothing there. There's still like a little empty space. That is where I'm going to pack the liquids bag. Keep watching. So here I have my Underseat Pro liquids bag that actually came with this backpack, which is super nice. I'm going to pull out my husband's deodorant. This is a full size deodorant that you get in the store. It is three ounces exactly. It is gel, so it does count towards the liquids rule, but it is a full size and it is three ounces. You do not have to go buy travel size items for everything. So make sure you are checking your own items at home before you go and spend more money on a travel size item when the one you have at home is perfectly fine. So I'm gonna fit that right up top and See, everything fits perfectly fine. We need to tuck in those straps again. So you can see I left that little space. Happy accident. Complete coincidence. I did not plan for that to happen, but that's how it did. So I'm going to put the laptop right on top. I'm going to move around the shirts just so I have an even base to support my, my laptop there. And then I'm putting the compression straps on top of that. I'm not tightening them too tight over top of the laptop, but I am going to snap them pretty snug. That's just going to hold the laptop and it won't move. It won't bounce unless I am going to pull it out for security. So everything is nice and convenient for security for TSA when I do have to take out my laptop and the, and the liquids bag. So now 
I'm just gonna finish this off by putting in an iPad in the front. It fits up and down and sideways, and that is it. We are packed for a week. I will have the amount of items in the description box below that we have packed, but rest assured, you have more than enough clothes in here for a week. And don't forget the handy dandy little compartment on the back. I'm going to take my boarding pass and any other items you need. You can also put your driver's license back here for security. I'm just going to slip that right in the back pocket so I know exactly where it is when it's time to board because I always forget where I put mine. And ta-da, here we go. We are ready to go flying. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we I am going to be start producing some videos with some fall and winter packing clothes. We are also taking a road trip to the beach pretty soon. So I'm going to be packing in the Spirit Airlines carry-on item. This is the carry-on that you pay for, but we are road tripping it. I'm always here to help. I'm always here to answer questions. Let me know what you guys have. Until next time, I hope I helped you break away on a budget. See you soon.